Does this go up? And yeah, yeah. it should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot one. Wow. <laughs> five foot fun. Oh, that's how we that's it. Hey guys, you're watching Pop Bars, and I'm joined today by the lovely Winston Duke. <laughs> you know? That was a that was a great clap. Yeah, that was amazing. That was really amazing. Happy thank, with you, that thank you. Thank <laughs> you. How is England treating you? Lovely. Yeah? Lovely. Lovely. Have you been before? Uh, this is my first time. Oh, it's my wow. first time. So everyone's warm. Oh. You know, it's very grey outside. Yeah, it so is. it's That's, it's kind of it's I'm doing in. it. I'm doing it. It's good. Okay, great. So we are here to talk about the film you are starring in, yes, Us, Jordan us. Peele's new creation. You play the character Gabe, the father of the family. Mm -hmm. Now, Gabe has some serious BDE. Yes. What's you know that? What's BDE? Big Daddy Energy. Hey, he has some I'll serious take it. Big Daddy Energy. Big uh, Daddy who Energy. Who is your inspiration? Um, that? to be honest, it came from the kind of images of masculinity and dads that I kind of was consuming as a kid which was a lot of TV mm -hmm. so all these TV dads like Uncle Phil from yeah. Fresh Prince and Carl Winslow from Family Matters and all those guys so I wanted to have a dad that felt really familiar yeah. right like someone that you can have in your own home or at least welcome them in through your tube once a week like mm -hmm. Homer Simpson yeah. I wanted him to feel funny I wanted him to feel you know sexy yet not like he won i wanted him to be a dad yeah you know in that kind of uh colloquial way awesome what was it like working with jordan on the film? great jordan really respects your process and he includes you in your uh, on his on my first meeting with him he invited the art director the costume designer and all these other designers into the room and showed me what everything would look like so i'd really get a good sense of the world mm -hmm. and then we kind of started just breaking down the character into what i would do and what choices i would make and see how that fit the world and really start just flexing in that place mm -hmm. so that was good so he was an all-rounder. Yeah, he's yeah. an all-rounder. And, you know, he just creates the best space for you to do your best work. Yeah. Yeah. So your Black Panther co-star, Lupita, obviously <laughs> yes. starred in the film. I call her Queen Lupita. Yes. Because yeah. she's a queen. Yes. Uh, what was it like working with her again? Wonderful, wonderful. And we go back, you know, yeah. even before this. So we went to grad school together. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. we went to Yale School of Drama together. And, you know, um, we've seen each other do a lot of just crazy work, you know, mm -hmm. so... It created a wonderful shorthand for set. We both felt like we could risk and know that the other would catch, you know, catch you. Um, and, you know, I took it on myself, my own personal duty to make it a really great space for her to mm -hmm. do her best work as well. I was like, I went to work every day saying, how can I make this a, a good environment for her? How can we, you know, do this, do that, you know? So I wanted to be an ally. I wanted to be a good, you know, co-star, a good like artistic cohort, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so it was, it was a big deal. And that was a sense that we also felt uh, from the top down, you know, Jordan did the same thing and it didn't need to be articulated, mm -hmm. but we had a female lead. Yeah. We had a, a woman of color, <laughs> right? Love it. In a leadership role. And it was how do we work to be real allies? Not yeah. to empower, but to be allies in this thing for her to make the best movie that she yeah. could. And yeah. smash it. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> so, there's a big old plot twist at the end mm -hmm. of the film. No spoilers. Boom. Don't worry. I'm not giving anything away. I trust Did you. Did you have any idea did jordan tell you anything did you mm -hmm. see it coming um no, so how it all transpired was he called me and said you know i have this idea for a project you know for you know that i'd like for you to be a part of i'm not going to tell you anything about it i just want you to read the script mm -hmm. i read the script and of course you'll see the twist and everything mm -hmm. also all the social commentary and everything else that's going on I sat there for like 40 minutes just thinking about it <laughs> thinking about it I was like wow 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 and I just said I had to be a part of this conversation you know mm -hmm. um, but that twist it was wild wild right it and was wild. that was one of the things that made me go this is refreshing yeah. this is the kind of movies that inspired me to be an actor, mm -hmm. right? To tell stories. I mean, I grew up with movies that had really big what ifs, you know? And that's what we have here 
in our film. It's a big what if. (laughs) What if this happened? What if that happened? And this had one of those what ifs that made me go, this is exactly what made me fall in love with what I do. Mm -hmm. So I had to. Yeah. And you did it. I did it. I did it. And you loved it. You I, know. I, I loved it. First thing this morning, she hugged me. Right? And I'm I was like, it. okay, I'm it's going to be a good it. interview. And I'm all right with scary films. Yeah. But yeah, it shook me to my core. Oh, wow. um, so Jordan mentioned that he was going to try and weave some little Easter eggs in there mm-hmm. uh, into us. Always. Always. And when the trailer dropped, some fans came out with some pretty wild theories. So mm-hmm. I'm going to take you through a few of them. And let me know what you think. Boom. Give me your thoughts. Let's right. Do it. Theory one. The best one I read was that it's a low key sequel to Get Out mm-hmm. and that the family is actually white people in their new bodies and the family coming to get them <laughs> is the original family <laughs> that escaped from the sunken place. That is freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. They need to write that movie. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. So I, I, I will say it's not that. Okay. But that is brilliant. That it's is a good and brilliant. People's minds um, work in mysterious ways. What's really interesting is is to point out that again, it's not Get Out, mm. um, but it is a Jordan Peele. It's the Jordan Peele universe, mm-hmm. right? So this could be another dimension or so, yeah. where Get Out explicitly questioned race. This one questions cultures of power. So yeah, oh. it's kind of like <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of yeah, just. It's wonderful that they're like, oh man, it's kind of like Get Out. But the honest truth is it's the Jordan Peele universe. Uh So it operates within those same rules. Uh, But I I can easily say without spoiling the movie, it's not Get Out. (laughs) We've cleared that one up. All right, theory two, ready? Lupita being offbeat when she was trying to get the sun on beat Mm -hmm. was probably on purpose. Mm. I bet it's going to be a significant plot twist slash plot detail. Boom, boom, can't say anything. Boom. These people are brilliant, though. They are. These are, like, Their international are questions mm-hmm. or, like, domestic England, London, you know, questions. They, Fish and chip questions. They were picked. They were, the, they were the best of the bunch. Yeah? Yeah. Do there you know where these are from, where they're from, or they're just, yeah, like, I know where every single Insta one is handles? From. Is, it, is it all you? Maybe. <laughs> Theory three. <laughs> we're going to find out in Us that the family mm. trying to kill the main characters are the actual heroes and the people watching are the mm. villains. Oh, wow. Can't say. That's brilliant, <laughs> though. Say. I love these people. Can't say. I love... I want to have dinner conversation with these people. Wouldn't it be great? We can fix that. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. You let's can do it. just come around my house. We can all just <laughs> chill. See? Yeah. There's, there's an ulterior motive here. <laughs> That just I'm picking up. There's like a little undercurrent. Not just you. Of all, all, yeah, it's just it's just me and her. It's no, like no, I don't no, know. No. I don't we'll know. Invite I don't know. Come down to Essex. Yes. Okay. I'll get my mum to cook. Essex. She's a great cook. <laughs> She'll do us a big roast dinner. Have you ever had a roast? <laughs> no. He's never had a roast. Dinner. I've never had a roast. We'll sort you out. I, I need to. I need yeah, to. Yeah. I think you do. Yeah. So I have to ask. Mm-hmm. Avengers Endgame. Boom. We know Mbaku is alive. Survived the snap. Survived. He survived. Mm-hmm. Can you describe Endgame in one word? I so you know Disney. Just one, and you've heard of just it. One Bigger. Word. Bigger. Bigger. That's all I could say. Bigger. Bigger. Yeah. So bigger than Infinity War. You heard it here first. Papas. Papas. <laughs> Winston, thank you so much for thank joining me today. Thank and you. I enjoy thank the rest you. of your time here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank Beautiful. you. It's fun, it's fun. You guys make it easy. Pop buzz. Pop buzz. Yes. Pop buzz. I love it. I love it. You guys are fun. I want to I wanna get a pick, but I just feel like I'm going to have to stand on a chair I'll, or something. I'll sit. How's that? Oh, yeah. How's, how's <laughs> that? Both.